Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing Dota 2 but lazy, which is inspired by Dota Survivor. How lazy can you get? Forget using the keyboard. We are casting everything all the time. Thank you very much to Dr. Teaspoon for making this mode. And in case you watched the Dota Survivor video, this is pretty much the same mode except on the normal Dota map. So the way this works is that all of our cooldowns are reduced by 75%, but we can't actually like manually cast any of our abilities. They will just be cast randomly at any targets nearby and uh, so it's a lot of spamming it's a lot of nonsense and it's a lot of fun i hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into the game all right we got ourselves grim stroke grab ourselves boots of speed and we will grab ourselves uh what are we getting probably just some tangles i don't know it uh yeah we are already spamming my thinking is we're gonna get phantoms and brace which we're going to then throw at anything that's near us. And if we're lucky, that will stop them from casting. But it does just kind of get spammed anyway. Now the cooldowns seem to be lower than normal, yeah. Is it half? It seems like half. Seems like half? Is it a third? It could be a third. I think it's half. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. 75%, oh wow. Oh, that's actually a pretty big decrease. Okay. Oh, I was wrong then. Hmm. How do I get close to anybody? Oh, dear. You go. There you go. You got you got a little spooky boy on you now. I got a little spooky boy there. And now... Oh, I can stack multiple of these, right? Because, like, they're going to reset their cooldowns? Oh, my God. All right. Here you go. Just, just, just cast this. Thank you very much. And then, uh... Thank you. No, actually, this is a really bad idea, and I hate it. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna, like, hit this dude. Oh, no, this is not working out. Alright, we've got a silence. Uh, I really need to have my... My Phantoms and Brace leveled up a little bit. Oh, the Spectre. The Spectre. Alright, I'm leaving. I gotta go back. I'm dying. It's not, not, not a good situation to be in. We want to pick up a magic wand, I think. <laughs> Wait, does it not work? Oh, okay. No, magic wand doesn't work. Alright, we're not picking up a magic wand. Well, good thing we figured that out so quickly. Mm, Octarine core seems good. Octarine core seems like a priority. Yeah, here you go. Throw this guy out there. And now we are shooting the stroke of fate. Now, Stroke of Fate is actually just kind of a terrifyingly powerful ability, right? I'm gonna get a point into this as well, because might as well, right? Oh, yes! Look at that! Yes! Perfect! Perfect, perfect! That's what I wanted. We're stacking multiple of these. Oh, I need lower cooldowns. I need lower cooldowns. I think I'm just gonna max this one out. I want just half my spooky go is popping off like crazy. <laughs> Alright, there's a stun. I am dead, yeah. <laughs> Tight hunter. Oh, that's a scary hero. Maybe we should get like an internal shot. Just get some spell ice deal. That's what that's what's good in Dota survivors, right? Get spell ice deal immediately. I mean that should be worth something. Oh yeah, so many ghosts. So many ghosts. I need one more level. One more level, but Okay. Alright, that's a kill though. TPing down here. Maybe we should get TP boots. Go a bit faster as well. So this now has uh, three hits to be destroyed. Which does actually change a lot. Huge difference between two and three hits. Huge difference. So that's going to make it a lot more difficult for opponents to really do anything there. Very good. Grab Alsa's cloak. No, Vesely, get away from me. Good, good, good. And there is Soulbind. Which is uh, also a pretty strong ultimate, isn't it? Like, that should do pretty well. Okay. There's another ghost. Yeah. And we should be getting that ghost back. There's another one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I don't know where that ghost is going. Oh, no. It's gone on the wrong target. Alright, max this out. Only 4.5 seconds cooldown on this stage. 
There's Pango. Oh, Pango's about to get his ultimate. That'll be... That'll be a problem. Alright, here's a ghost. Oh, no! Pugna! Pugna, Pugna, Pugna. Huge problem. Alright, more ghosts, more ghosts, more ghosts. More ghosts, more ghosts, more ghosts. More, more ghosts. <laughs> nice. That's a kill. That's okay. We'll take it. <laughs> Maximize all them ghosts. I'm coming up here. What's the blink logic? It's to die. Brave of you to assume there's a logic. <laughs> Alright, more ghosts. Yes! Grab ourselves eternal shroud. I finished up my video. Well, I didn't finish it up. I finished writing it and doing a first review. And I'm pretty happy with it. It is... A little long. <laughs> it's just, just like a casual 10,000 words. Um, you know, as it goes. But I'm pretty happy about it. And uh, I'm looking forward to actually getting it, you know, finished up. And hopefully releasing it in this decade. That would be good. The main goal is to release it before the next patch. I'm a little doubtful of that one. <laughs> But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Just... 10,000 words sounds like a lot. And I think that's because 10,000 words just kind of is a lot. Isn't it? Gonna probably need to record it in multiple sessions. Because I don't know if I have that much energy to do it all at once. Items are also autocast? I don't think so. My eternal shroud doesn't seem to be particularly... Interested in casting itself compared to everything else. Okay. All right, we have we have ghosts. We have so many ghosts. We are just gonna keep spamming them ghosts. Yeah, just more ghosts. So many ghosts. <laughs> oh, there's a slow look at that. <laughs> All right, activate this. More ghosts. There's a, there's a good one there. No, where's this one going? Okay, they are perfect. Oh, double ghost. Brutal. Absolutely devastating. The double ghost just killed. And once you get that going on, I, I don't know what you can do, right? Sick stuff, sick stuff. Oh, there's a spook there. You sure you want to come up here? You don't want to come up here, do you? No, no, no. Up here is a mistake. Up here is a flawed idea, my friend. I don't think we can cast it on the tower, can we? Also, there's a cat. Le Coco? No, that's Noah. Okay. So we do need to worry about that. <laughs> yes, Coco. Coco is good and easy. We don't need to worry about her. Like, she's just sitting back there, you see? Just sitting, sitting up on the cat tree. Uh, Noir, however, is a big idiot and who will chew on everything that he can get his mouth on. Hello, Noir. What are you doing? I always need to keep an eye out for him. Oh, we should probably go into the mid here and defend. Or, you know, try to, I guess. Good. See? Expert defense. Brilliantly done. This is exactly the kind of execution that we need around here. Ink swell movement speed. Why not? Make us run fast. Look at that. I mean, we're kind of spamming ink swell. It's, it's a nice ability. What talents do we have there? Stroke of fate, cast range, three hits to kill phantom. We're definitely getting the phantom thing. Oh yeah, phantom time. Oh, f no, shoot this dude. That's the wrong dude over there. <laughs> oh, are they dead? I guess, I guess that's fine. Should that do? Pick up more of this, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, it seems that we're doing really well. I like my Grimstroke. I thought Grimstroke would be a good choice because he just has like four, five, six abilities. <laughs> I think he's got uh, five, right, with Agonims. Probably want to pick that one up as soon as we can. Nice. Undying just sapping strength. Oh, it has such a low cooldown. And with Agonims? Oh, that's a brutal one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That'll be devastating to go up against. What do the ghosts even do? They silence and then they sit on top of you and punch you in the face. And if you don't get rid of the ghost, then they leave after a little while. They deal damage. Then they come back to me and if the ghost comes back to me, then I get the cooldown reset so I can throw another ghost. Oh, I have so many ghosts then. It would just, like, I throw a ghost and the ghost kills the target. Or when the target dies, then the ghost also comes back. A ghost kills the target, so I throw another ghost, throw another ghost. And so I can have multiple ghosts all just attacking the same target. Alright? <laughs> so, you know. Just, just gonna keep throwing them at people. They tickle. No! They punch people in the face. They, like, attach me. Like, That's what they do. The bad ghosts, evil ghosts. No one is a bad place to. Noah, please. This cat. Alright. I'm pushing. I don't know where the enemy team is. I guess they're up here. Oh, the undying is just kind of like soloing them. Hey, double kill. Never mind. I am soloing them now. Lower cooldown on everything. That's very helpful. Okay, ghosts. More ghosts. Yes, double ghosts. Okay, more ghosts. Yes. Oh, I have so many ghosts. Oh, I have so many of them. You can have multiple ghosts on the same target as well, which makes it extra fun. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, ooh, ooh, we're actually hanging in there, kind of. Not anymore. All right. Hello, Nua. How are you doing? So since I am just resurrecting now and this cat is being very annoying, we're going to go ahead and just say... Hello to Noah. Yeah, that's just what you're gonna have to put up with for a moment. Alright, everybody. Say hello to Noah and his very big annoyingness. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and let him out. Alright. He just wants to eat. Which he really doesn't need to, because he's plenty fat. <laughs> he's, he really doesn't need to make such a fuss about food. He's got plenty stored. Alright. Ooh, I like it. That's kind of clever. Now I'm silenced too. Alright, I, I punched the ghost though. I punched the ghost. Oh my god, Undying is just such a monster. Such an absolute giga monster. Alright, here's my Agonims. So now I'm summoning like spooky illusions, right? Oh yeah, they are really spooky. <gasps> they don't have abilities they're using though. That's a shame. I don't know, I thought maybe. Well, maybe they're maybe they're like broken like that. Who knows? They could have been. They very well could have been. There's the Underlord. Invisibility. Does Invis even work? Wouldn't you like break out of it with casting? I guess not. Alright, I'm coming up here. We'll take down these, and then we'll just go ahead and uh, see if we can do some sort of pushing or similar. All right. This is actually such a such a nice ability. I do like Grimstroke. Grimstroke is definitely not the kind of hero that I would play a lot, but I think he's pretty neat. He's also another prime example of Valve just like randomly releasing shit and nobody has any idea why or how or they weren't anticipating it either. <laughs> I remember how Grim. Do you guys remember how Grimstroke was released? Because I do. Because like... They just like unceremoniously one day dropped Grimstroke. They're just like, hell, hello everybody, here's the dude. Goodbye! And everybody's like, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, okay, I guess, thanks. <laughs> and I think they were even using like the Grimstroke video just to hype up Void Spirit. Grimstroke's release was really just like <laughs> a promo video for Void Spirit. Okay. I am here. No, you don't do that. Oh, I am... Oh, man. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like this whole... This whole nonsense with... With the... Uh, what's it called? Lotus Orb and such. Oh, Inkspell has less cooldown now. Okay, coming over here. <clears throat> nice. Alright, I have some illusions. I am trying to push here. I just, I'm not good at it. <laughs> I want to push. I have no good way of doing it, but I am, I am willing. All right. Used an ultimate. Should probably just get some survivability, you know, so we can take these hits a bit better. Wasn't there Mars with him in the same team? No, I think it was White Spirit, but I might be wrong. Oh, well, maybe I don't remember. It's one thing I learned is that I actually don't remember shit. I actually don't know anything. If I haven't looked it up recently, then I can safely assume whatever I think I remember is gonna be wrong. I think it was Void Spirit. No, it can't be Void Spirit. I think you're right, it was Mars? Because Void Spirit is much newer than Grimstroke and... And Mars both, right? I think you're right, it may have been Mars, not Void Spirit. Okay, can we push? I mean, I can't. Why can't we? Wait. These towers aren't dying. Wait, we, can we not attack them? Can I not attack them? What's the problem here? <laughs> this tower has taken some damage. <laughs> okay, no, my team can push, okay. It's just I wasn't able to. Did I have the Decrepify on me? By any chance. Okay. More cast range on Stroke of Fate. Yeah, that might have been the problem. It's a little hard to tell with... With everything that's going on. Because there's a lot going on, you know? Okay, let's... Let's take down this Ancient and put him out of the misery. Grim came before Mars and Void after Mars. See, okay, all right, all right. See, that's, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't remember anything. You can't trust your memory, friends. There you go. Took him down. Look at that. Absolutely filthy. I mean, mostly the undying. But I like the Y hero. I thought he was cool. Let's do a second game. Okay, cool. We got ourselves Bounty Hunter. We'll see how that works out. I'm mostly excited for a shurik shuriken toss and track. <laughs> we need agonims as well. Now, uh, the big downfall of shuriken toss is that it has a very, very small cast range. And uh, that has increased a lot with agonim sept. But uh, it's still just, it's just, it's just small. It's just a small cast range. But uh, it is pretty powerful. Right? At the very least, that. It does do quite a lot of damage. Well, actually, I guess not that much anymore. Then. Hello. And it's got a mini stun. And mostly we can steal people's money once we have Agonims. Am I going to just go for it? That's a bad idea, isn't it? I should be able to get this kill at least. No! Really? Oh. That's too great. <laughs> Oh, that's disappointing. 
A little too greedy. A little too greedy. Okay. Now you'll have permanent fleshy, which is quite strong. Uh, is my team... Uh, is my team a bunch of heroes that don't work properly? Is that what's happening? Hmm. So that's not ideal. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna throw tracks and shurikens at people and that'll take care of it. Wait, why did you just hook me? Wait, why are you hooking creeps? <laughs> How come creeps are your priority there? Very curious choice. Alright. So what happens with my inverse? Oh, I'm just inverse now. Wait, am I hitting the weaver? Huh. I can hit the weaver even though we are both invisible. Oh, he's over there now. Where is he? Come back. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. I don't know if I'm actually doing damage or not. Okay. There was some sort of fight happening there. The details of which will never be known. Oh, it's not hitting. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah, I need Agonims. I need Agonims and I need uh, an Ephalans. So that my Shuriken Toss has some actual range. But and just having track will also help a lot. Because with track, of course, uh, we can bounce it, and that'll be that'll be very good. Also, we get a crit, so it actually deals some damage. All right, there's track. There you go. <laughs> oh, friends, you may have made a mistake. Oh, you may have made a mistake. I don't want to come in here. <laughs> no, sorry. I am way too scary. Can I track creeps? No, I can't tower track creeps. That would have been extra fun. Oh, it will use Ginata though. Interesting. Okay. Bounce. Bounce. Oh, so close. Nearly had him. Fudge can't turn off Rot. That's fine, though, because he's got permanent fleshy. Why would you need to turn off Rot if you have permanent fleshy? Because, like, the fleshy blocks all of the Rot damage anyway. You don't you don't actually need to turn off Rot. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. Well, that, that dude just kind of got annihilated. There's Agonims. Get Octarine. Hmm. Probably can't bounce all the way over there. She's a little far away. Oh, I found a weaver. There you are. And we got them both. Creep. Nice. <laughs> oh, she got cut down with the shuriken coming from above. All right, pick up a bit of bit of cast range, like even more cast range, right? That's what we are really, really looking for. Hello. My bounty hunter is turning out to be very strong. Uh, sure can toss damage? Yeah. Yeah. Deal more damage with that bad boy. Oh, it has a target. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> it's so strong. My team is just hanging in there, though. I might need to carry this one. Awkwarden is getting some kills at least. Okay. Don't want to get doomed. Not if we can avoid it. And thanks for the money. I'm not combining here. Grab this. We need spell eye steel, right? Well, the Weaver really ran into us right there. 
Oh, there's a Windrunner. Oh, no. It's actually just such a nice combo as well. Because this has way more cast range, right? So we always set up track into Shuriken Toss. Like, this is just the best Bounty Hunter play that you can do. He's just, like, super, super optimized. I might have picked an OP hero. I'll be honest, though. I, I really only had very strong choices. I had Centaur, Less Shark, and Bounty Hunter. Right? Like, the, all three of those heroes are potentially absolutely broken. Because with Sento, we just have permanent ultimate. Like, our entire team just doesn't take damage anymore. And the Shark, of course, will just, like, infinitely stun everything. <laughs> so, you know, uh, this is kind of one of those modes where it's, like, a little broken. I don't know if you've noticed, but the mode is a little broken. And, um, that'll just kind of lead to two things. Don't pick two Q charges. Yeah, I'll get even more shurikens, right? Like, I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to have even more shuriken, shuriken tosses. Oh, there's a Razor. Okay. Now I can keep my distance because I can just bounce off of creeps. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I'll get it. Let's see what happens. It's not actually that much faster than before. Like, it was already at, like, one second cooldown anyway. I don't know if it's even faster at all. The mode is broken. I know, it's crazy, right? You would think that this mode, out of all modes in the arcade, is one of the more well-balanced and well-considered ones. But, but really, no, it's crazy. Who could have seen that coming? Okay. There you go. Nope. Not in range. That yours! Ah, oh, I can't... How do I... <laughs> how do I get this dude? <laughs> I need to nullify. Okay. There you go. Wow, what a journey that was though. The nice thing is that I have 35% damage reduction, right? So, since I'm pretty much always in Shadow Walk, I don't really take that much damage. Slash any damage. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that sure bounced. Thanks for the money. I feel like I just stole all of their pocket money. I also have 11,000 gold now. No, you come back, you come back, you come back. I actually don't care, he has a nullifier. Ah, he didn't... Oh no! I got the kill, but not, not without cost. So, uh, let's go ahead and eat this one. And then we'll buy a heart. And I think like a Kaya and the Sange probably. That seems good. And we upgrade our boots. And that's really about all we're gonna buy. I don't know what else we need. Fey Grenade. Star Mace. 10% movement speed. Thank you. That's a lot of Arc Warden Ghosts. It's pretty spooky, isn't it? This is a very important decision. Would I kill myself if I get Aghanims? I... I'm not sure. Does Rod do enough damage to get through Flesh Heap if you have Aghanims? I'm not confident. I think it does, right? Like, because Rod actually becomes quite powerful with Aghanims. Hello. Yeah, you guys just try to run from me. I don't mind. Fucking track me all you like. Track me all you like. My main strategy is to just kind of like be damage immune anyway. Alright. Shit. <laughs> A 
Okay, Lotus Orb is too good. I feel like I need a Lotus Orb. Yeah. Hmm. Do I? I think I need Blade Mail. I don't know if Lotus Orb actually helps. Because, like... I can't reflect the Lotus Orb thing. Can I? I don't think so, right? If something gets reflected at me via Lotus Orb, I can't then Lotus Orb that thing. So... Blade Mail will work, though. Oh, I'm just stunned a lot. Come on, kill her! <laughs> I actually won that fight. Ooh. Hey, Arifalimi95. Thank you very much for the six months. Yes. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Honestly, um, quite worried about the state of YouTube and Twitch right now. We're not doing as well as I would like to. But uh, I have talked for a long time now about how I have different plans and how I want to do different content in the future and what kind of things I want to do. And I never... Never ended up really getting to it or getting around to it because so much other things uh, that I was doing. And no, I have actually started it now. I've actually started it now and we're actually working on it. And I finished writing the video. I finished writing one video. And the thing that's important about this video is this video is actually, I think, bigger in scope. Like probably twice as big in scope as the normal videos that I want to make. And even this one I was able to finish in like two weeks. So in theory, I should be able to bang out the other ones pretty quickly, like a week, a week and a half. Let's say two weeks. Let's say two weeks as a time frame for just like writing and such. And that's actually better than I thought. I thought it was going to take like a month. So that's nice. I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, then we just kind of hope that those videos end up doing well and we can like build something new there. Right? That's kind of my hopes. And if that doesn't work out, I'll figure something out. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, like, aggressively optimistic more so than I should be. But I just always think I'm going to land on my feet, you know? I always think I'm going to find something to do. And uh, there's probably going to be somebody out there who will want me to work for them. <laughs> I hope. I don't know. <laughs> really praying on that one. <laughs> So, are things looking super hot right now? Ah, uh, maybe not. Am I optimistic anyway? Yeah. Alright. Okay. It's nice. I have, like, a uh, Wind Ranger thing with the Jinada. Because I'm just, like, attacking with Jinada all the time. Boom, boom, boom. And it's actually quite a lot of pushing power, because Jinada hurts. Strong attack. Alright, get the Wind Ranger. Nice. Good kill. I'm coming back. I don't know if I can get the Razor, but I will try. Oh my god. Alright, bang, 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 bang. God, this Razor is actually just genuinely, absolutely terrifying. I need to just, like, have these two things active at all times. Because they, they have, like, more or less 100% uptime, right? So as long as I just spam them... <clears throat> as long as I spam them, we are, spam them, we're good. Let's go and... Let's go and get them. Let's go and kill them. We have protection. Yeah, I'm not afraid. Just tracking people. Track, track, track. Oh my god. This shit is not working. Get this dude. No! My spell life steal isn't enough. It's magic damage, right? Did he magic resistance? I mean, we got some of them. I think also, like, 
kind of a part of things right now is uh, people are feeling a little burnt out on Dota, right? That's just because it's been a really long time since we had a proper patch. I know 7.31 and 7.31b weren't that long ago, but I think they haven't really like thrown Dota for enough of a loop that people really consider them a big patch. So, you know. Mm. Really thought this was gonna. This was gonna like be be good here. Maybe I need more targets. No, it is good. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. And we have so much money. <laughs> My team should have a lot of money too. Oh no, the BKB. Hmm. The main problem of spamming this is that I don't have my Shadowbook active. Which is tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Maybe I should also get a Windwalker. Wind Waker, sorry, not Walker. Do I need boots? I think I do need boots, actually. What if I get rid of this? And I get an Eternal Shroud. Just get more Life Steal, right? And some Magic Resistance, which isn't gonna be too bad. It's not, like, crucially important by any means, but it's, it's it should be alright. Alright. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's what. This mode has degenerated pretty hard. <laughs> it's prime time. Well, here we are. That's just what we're doing now. Yep. Nope. That's that's just it. <laughs> that's the gameplay, friends. Oh, I died. The razor is so strong. The Razor. Hey, Lati man, thanks for the 21 months. Appreciate it. Don't have buyback. And Razor, ultimate, yeah. So many static links. Oh, they got us. They got us. I mean, I really tried. I put up a good fight. I had a ton of money. I had 40,000 gold. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Kind of crazy, but uh, that was still a bit of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I definitely appreciate that. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.